Let's jump right back into this game, shall we? I apologize for any sound issues that might have existed in the last three videos. When I listened to them playing back, I couldn't hear my voice very well because the game audio was up too loud, so I have turned the game audio down, which should turn off my voice by comparison. There's no option for continue, so I think I'm supposed to just choose start game, and then it will continue me. It will. I'm in the forest. No, the hospital. There's another level called the hospital. Let's plunge into the hospital. It looks an awful lot like some kind of classic introduction to a video game. Is that Castlevania? I don't really know because there's a lot of classic video games that I'm aware of but haven't exactly played, so I have to judge what is being satirized just by the word of the satyrs. And uh, satyrs don't know everything about satire despite the similitude of names. Here we go, we're just, uh, those are actually just like giant piles of, uh, used syringes. And, uh, I can imagine how that might be a very dangerous obstacle if you're a pile of meat. Let's replay that and see if we can start getting some A-pluses. We. I did a little hiccup there, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Ah! I jumped too high and hit my head. I need to jump low to make that final one. The degree of horizontality really makes this unique among platformers. I don't think I've ever seen a platformer where your character moved like horizontal vector so great and vertical vector so minimal. This is probably the game if you like horizontality of movement. One down. So we're going down, 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 down. I assume these beams are bad. Oh no, this is a total leap of faith level. You just have to be familiar with the level to have any clue where you're supposed to go. There's a bandage right there, so I assume the bandage is okay. I'm just gonna jump to the bottom to see what's there. If I can make it to the bottom. God darn it, so much horizontality. All right, I see what's there. So bandage, get, and then land safely, good. And bounce off here, and bandage girl, get. Great A+, plus. wonderful. Next, live. Memories, what do I remember? Is this a dream I'm remembering in real life? Like I had a dream that I was uh, going down narrow descending corridors and the elevator was broken, so I had to go down the other way and there were saw blades everywhere and then Bandage Girl was waiting for me at the bottom. It's a very creepy dream to have. Blue, here we go. The fan is blowing me up and uh, cool. I like how the fans work. So uh, I'm going to do that again real quick and get an A+. The closer you enter the jet stream toward the bottom where the fan is, the higher it blows you up. I'll get you, bandage girl. Big empty. It's very big and empty. I guess you have to jump up this side wall and then cross using the fan. Wow. Let's do that again. Oh, if you actually run into the fan, the blades will kill you. <laughs> this is a clever level. I'm going to go for the exit of the level and come back for the bandage. There we go, I have made it to the other side. Now I can just go across here, like that. Nope. How am I supposed to get across there? Are these fans just blowing me up? I think I'm just supposed to stay low and hit my head on the ceiling like that. There we go. And whoop. Ta-da! Alright, I'm gonna try to get the bandage since uh, I know where it is. I got the bandage. Now I just have to, I think, replay the level normally. Use this fan to get across here. 
Ah, you have to be patient. All right, use the fan to get across. Don't get caught up in the stream of that fan. All right, nice and safe here. Cool. Beam myself across here, beam myself. Erg. I want to go back to the beginning. There we go. Now I'm back at the beginning. I can beam myself across and up and get on that level or that ledge. Cool. Now hit my head on the ceiling in between the spikes. And that was the longest time I've taken to complete a Meat Boy level yet, and it was like 41 seconds. I've heard of a game called Half Minute Hero, although I haven't played it. This would definitely be a good addition to the Half Minute Hero genre. They could even give you a time limit for 30, sec of 30 seconds for... Am I going to jump and then cut through the wind better? No. I'm not going to jump and cut through the wind better. What if I just go up on the ceiling? Aha! Now I'm up on the ceiling and I pass the fans that way. And I die if I go out here. So I assume I just fall straight down. Yeah, there we go. Oh no! <laughs> I hit the fan blade. Up! Lift me up! No A plus for me. How fast do I have to do that level? I have to do it in 15 seconds, and this time I took... I hesitated for a while at the very beginning. I couldn't have taken too much more than 15 seconds. I did it pretty quickly. I stuttered there. Alright, I can definitely get the A plus on this level. Let's just do it before we forget. We Get it? A plus. I'm not sure what the trick is for that last section. You have to kind of just calculate the force of those two fans blowing in different directions. I am... I just kind of mash buttons until it gets me where I want to go, and that is doing well enough for me. Hush! Oh no, it's Goo Monsters! Do I die if I touch the Goo Monsters? Yes, I do. That was a test. Ah, it's a Goo Monster. That was easy. A+. Plus. Was that the introduction to Goo Monsters? The Sabbath of Goo. This level is cute because you can just barely see where the spikes are, because everything is similarly colored. <laughs> I see there are spikes on the bottom of that platform, so clearly the, on the only way to actually make it through that gap is to hug the other side of the wall and then do a horizontal jump across. Like this. Ah! I didn't wait for the Goo Monster to go low enough. Yeah, just kill me. Ouch. I'm trying to rush too much. I'm just going to take my time and get through this level. Slide, jump! There we go. Ah! I died at the very end. Well, now I've gotten through the level, so I know the whole level, so I can zing through it. Oops. Oops. I guess I can't zing through it. I need to pause at strategic moments. Grrrgh. I'm not convinced I actually need to go up there. I could probably 
take the low road past this obstacle like not like that it's the very low road to hell like this there we go that saves me so much time oops I forgot the nature of that obstacle Carefully. Wait. Wait. Go! Wait. Go! A+. Plus. I'm gonna watch a replay of that masterful performance. See how far under the 25 minute timer I made it. I feel like I cut almost every possible second I could from that run. Twenty-five was the limit. I made it in under 15. <coughs> I could have wasted 10 more seconds and still made a, an A+. Plus. A lot of those optimizations were superfluous. And there's a big goo monster. Hi, big goo monster. How are you? <coughs> that level was a nice break. Excuse me, just have to have some water. It's a good thing I bring water with me when I do this. <coughs> I'm going to suicide here couple times while I drink some water water is good isn't water good I think water is the best element on earth <laughs> the best molecular compound on earth the best occupation on earth it's way way better to be a water than to be a waiter because if you're a waiter you have to serve tables and if you're a water they just drink you up so let's think about this level for a second. There's a bandage here, which is a little odd. Because you just die as soon as you get it. I'm pretty sure the goal here is to just ease your way into the jet stream, and then curve your way to the bottom platform like that. And then boost your way up, good. Now ease your way in curve, and boost your way up. Whee! We door fast enough. Now let's replay that one since it's short and sweet and try to get the bandage on our way back up. Ouch. Maybe I'll try to get the bandage at the very beginning, but I'm going to try to get it on my way up. I'm going to try to get blown this way, and then curve back before anything really bad happens. Like that. There we go. Now I just have to beat the level. Level complete. Bandage get. Replay saved. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Next level. Ghost key. So this key is going to unlock all these doors in rapid fashion. And then I just jump across and save her. A+. Plus. Next level. Above. What's above? Death from above. I get the key, and then the blades come down from above. That's good. And then another key appears. I definitely saw a key being dropped from above. Let me just, uh, let me speed play, speed play that level with triangle. Ouch. Maybe that was too much speed for my own good. There we go. Rocket shoes. A plus. Now let's see what we can do with that key. See, I get this key and that drops saws. And then other than saws, it also happens to drop a key somewhere. Where is it? I'm not seeing it now. 
Try one more time. Maybe I'm not looking in the right direction, because I distinctly saw a key when I was playing before. Oh yeah, it gets trapped from over here. Okay. So I just have to be jumping at the right time to catch it. I was too fast. Too fast. Need to go slower. There we go. And the key takes me to a warp zone! Team Meat. Is this one supposed to be the Game Boy parody because it's in black and white? The first one made me think of Game Boy, but then I remembered how truly sucky Game Boy graphics were. Ow. Can I just fall straight through? Yeah, I can. This one's easy. Oh, there's a bandage I could have gotten, but... It blended in too well with the background. Ow. I need to make a run for it, there's no other way, but I just have to start my run at the right moment. There we go. Done. Thanks, Meat Boy. Oh no! Bandage Girl turned into an alien and just like schlepped away. I'm gonna do that warp zone again and try to actually get the bandage. There was a clear and present bandage. Da, 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 da. Oh, the bandage is over there. So you have to, for this level, you have to go in between the blades if you want to get the bandage. Which means like sliding and then wall jumping down without going too high and hitting your head. It's a challenge. There we go. I got it, but then I arsed it up. Ouch. And <laughs> came over because I ran out of lives. Alright, level 13. Continuing right along. This has floating purple things. Alright, so far so easy. Level complete. I assume I have to jump over Bandage Girl and get the key and then go all the way back to the beginning. So let's replay this one. The key actually leads me out of the box that this entire level is encased in. Alright, I got the key. I didn't touch Bandage Girl on the way back. I'm doing Magnifico! Oh, there's a bandage there, now I just have to go back up one more time. This is more a test of patience than anything. Just wait until it's safe. Are these purple things supposed to be viruses? Does meat die when he comes into contact with viruses? I guess that's one of the things that can really ruin good meat. Bandage, gah! I'm gonna try to do the A+, also. Here we go, really fast. One more time with feeling and speed. And the feeling of speed. A+. Plus. <laughs> Virus was actually on top of Bandage Girl. I had to wait a moment for him to move his slow purple ass off of her. Next level. Ant Flow. Really. This game is going there.
It was easy. I guess I could have done it faster, so let's do it faster. <laughs> I need to go higher than that on the fans. We up and go. Now to the top and to the bottom. A plus. Cool. I was afraid I was going to hesitate too much at the very end. I like watching the replay sometimes when I make a daring feat of time to see how close I was to not making it. I made it by a good four and a half seconds. There was no trouble, trouble at all. No trouble, no trouble. Gallbladder. Oh no, I'm in a gallbladder. Is this what a gallbladder looks like? Warp zone! <laughs> I went through a little cloister where there were gray tiles that I could walk through before touching that warp zone. I am not sure about the uh, mechanical purity of this game's graphics. They don't always indicate what I'm supposed to do. I wonder if these warp zones count as levels completed, or if the only purpose of them is to get the bandages within them. I'm gonna try to get the bandage within this one. Easy! I'll just go back up, and done. Ow. Ah! <laughs> I made a flying leap for Bandage Girl there. Ugh! No, game over. Do I have to uh, start at the very beginning of the warp zone now? I have to start at the very beginning of the warp zone. I guess I have to get the bandage again now. That bandage is not going to stay got. final jump always gets me. It's not really that hard. There we go. What's the trick here? The trick is there's a bandage, and to get it you need to jump on the right side of this platform, and then loop out, and then loop back without falling. Like that. Only better. I don't want to die three times and lose my first bandage, so I think I'll come back to that bandage. I've unlocked Gish! And I got a trophy called Living in the Past, probably for completing a certain number of warp zones. This level again. I guess it never hurts to spend some extra time caring for your gallbladder. Where am I supposed to go? Down? Down is the end of the level. It almost looks like a fork, but I don't know how to jump up. Let's try it faster. I guess the other side of that final place is the ticket. It's probably faster to go through the tunnel than to go over it. Like that.
Ow. Now I'm just going too fast and not looking where I'm going. Watch where you're going, me. Oh, okay, so Bandage Girl is straight down once I make it to that spot. Should be easy enough to remember. The buttons are a little squishy, which kind of interferes with the purity of my intended moves. There was an A+. Let's see how much I beat the buzzer by. I'm almost thinking my TV settings are messed up. I'm going to look at my TV settings for a moment. Make sure that I'm in game mode. Picture. Mode. Game. Okay. I guess um, I've minimized my input lag as much as I possibly can. Let's watch the replay again since I wasn't paying attention. Oh, wow. I go too fast for my own good in these levels. I do not know what is expected of me. Sink J or Singe? Singe! Oh, Singe! Wow. Is this laser going to reach all the way across? And then when it turns completely solid, it fries me? Yep. There we go. I knew that was just going to be like a really long corridor, so I was going to have to jump to get ahead of their laser. I can kind of read the game designer's minds on some of mind on some of these levels. 15 seconds. Can I do it? I can do it in 15 seconds. No problem. Ow. Ow. If I run straight for the back wall, I get singed by the laser. So I actually have to stop here. No, it's too early. Perfect. A+. Plus. The target time was 15 seconds and my time was... Probably less than 10. Yeah, 9.21. Cool. There was an A++ plus plus time. Warm food. Oh no, this laser is going to get me... Uh, do I need to wait for it at the very beginning, or can I start going? I assume I have to wait for it there. I didn't wait long enough either. Oh, I can cheat it on the first iteration. And then wait here. Where are you, bandage girl? I'll save you. Ouch. Oh, I don't have to wait there either. I can totally cheat this laser a lot. It has to be an A+, because I didn't waste any time. There's Bandage Girl. Damn, it's not that easy. Alright, so I take this platform across, and then I'm going to get a key on the other side, and the platform's going to start destructing. God knows how I'm going to make it back. I just have to race the platform. Yep. I just have to race against the destruction of the platform. Ow. This looks like an easy A+, level because the platform only destroys so fast, so you can waste a lot of time and still make it on the way back. Just waiting for it. Go! Got it. Six feet under. Or just six feet. Yeah, but... Something is buried six feet under, and I, I'm afraid it might be Bandage Girl. So I go up to the top to get the key, and then I excavate without a permit. There's Bandage Girl! How did you get down there? I told you not to leave the shoe store. While well, I spent four hours at the video arcade. Girls just never listen. Great A+. Plus. Wasn't that wonderful. Daybreaker. 
it's going to be lots of viruses. Lots of viri. Look out for the viri. Alright, I broke out of the tunnel. Now what? Uh, fan leading up. I'm going to do this one slowly. Ever so slowly. I might actually go down and see if I can get that bandage too. Alright, I am out of the tunnel. I am in the light. Now I... If I drop down, I will die from the fan blade. So I have to go down here. And then... Jump there! And then there's some tricky platforms at the very, very end. Okay. Oh, this is the pathway to the bandage. I got down here by accident, but what the hell. Bandage, get! Huh. There we go. Up. Now just don't die. Ah, I have to go on the other one. There we go. I took a long time on that attempt. I'm gonna see how long for lols while I'm planning my speedrun strategy. My speedrun strategy should be pretty straightforward, it's just like... I would have done the speedrun, I think, even on this attempt if I hadn't fallen when I was almost there. Yeah, because I made it here with some time to spare. And then I jumped up there and fell. Okay. Replay level. Real fast this time. Ouch. That sucked. Just kill me. Is there some kind of super shortcut? I bet there's some kind of super shortcut in this level. Where you just go, like, out here, and then climb all the way up to the top. Yep. How did I know? A plus. Next level. I got all the A pluses on my way through this time. Did I miss any? Did I miss a single one? I missed one. And I missed a bandage. Big empty. This shouldn't be too hard of a level to get an A plus on. I just go across. And then back across. And then just start hitting my head. Boink. Boink. Meek. Nope. Let's see how much time I need to save. I wasted a little time fluttering in the wind there on that second fan. I need to save quite a bit of time. I need to save like one and a half seconds. Let's try it again. I'm so close to having all A pluses, so I might as well do that before I fight the boss. That was faster. I know I didn't make it, but I think I did sub-17 that time. There's probably some kind of trick to save time in this top section where you, um, on one jump you probably pass two of the fans instead of doing them one at a time. I'm gonna just try to save time in the bottom section of the level, though. Yeah, like, that's not, that's not the ticket to saving time. I wonder if I can just go from one fan jet stream to the other, though. Like, go, nah, that's not gonna work. I need to touch the wall in order to get grounded. I think. 
That blew me a little higher. I'm still not going to make it, though. What was my time that time? Seventeen ten. I actually lost time on that attempt. Try it again. Here we go. Yeah, whenever I try to save time by not touching the floor, I just lose everything. Oh, there we go. I almost did it. I almost did two fans at once. That would have saved massive time if I'd done that. I think I'm ahead of time. I don't want to risk anything here. I just want to go. I made it! A+. plus. Let's see how much I made it by. That was a beautiful attempt. It was partially just luck. I fluttered right there. Didn't waste any time getting caught in the second fan stream until touching the wall. Then I entered really low and went past two at once. I did sub-15. So you can really save some, shave some serious time off. Alright, next level. Wait, back to map. Back to map is right, right? Exit to map. Okay. Now I have all eight pluses. I'm ready to do the boss and then I'll do the dark world. Chad. C-H-A-D. Sounds like a robot or something. I am Chad. C-H-A-D. It looked like a bomb detonator, but he's actually dumping... Is he dumping blood out of these pipes? Is this a meat processing plant? Oh my god. What is it? Is this supposed to be like a big shit monster? I didn't understand what happened in that cutscene. I went for the key and he just like popped up. Alright Chad, what's gonna happen here? Whee! You jumped right over my head and then I get the key. Ooh, and then the lava starts rising and I have to outrace the lava, okay. Is there another there's another key. Uh oh. Are you gonna jump this time right in the middle? Fast. There's another key down there, oh no. Get it before it's too late. Oh no, there's another key on the other side. Is that it? Did I open the light? So what is this thing? Why does it die in the light? Is that the boss that I just fought? I turned into a cute little puppy. It just wants to give me a kiss. Ah. <laughs> oh no, it's too late to save Bandage Girl. Damn, foiled again. Oh, it still wants to give me a kiss. This game has a very bizarre sense of humor. Well, whatever you think of that chapter, the chapter is in fact complete, so... I think that's a good place to leave off this section of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you'll be back for more, and I can't wait to see what kind of shenanigans this game throws at me next.